Namaste Dosto, I'm sure you remember Bubble from my last video. He runs one of the oldest video game stores in India. His store is from the 80s and it's still going strong today here in Pune, Maharashtra. And he called me and said, Carl, I've got even more to show you. Please come back. So I'm here. I can't believe Bubble has more to show us from that last video, but he does. So let's sit down with Bubble. I want to read him a few of the comments that you guys left for him. And I want to ask him a few questions about the history of his store. Then we're going to go on a treasure hunt through the rest of his collection and cut across here to his old house where he's got two houses full of retro games. It's just out of this world. Jello, let's get a game on. Bubble, thank you for having me back again. It's so nice to be here. And I want to start off by reading you a few comments. I've got some lovely comments here for you, Bubble, from our first video. Okay. This is from Rohan. Back in the day when the Nintendo, PlayStation, and Game Boy all launched, Bubble's shop would be the place my cousin and me would go to since somehow he always had the latest games and consoles and he would sell them at lower rates than any of the big shops here. And he did it because of his passion for others to enjoy gaming. I remember it was actually called Puran Stores. Yeah, that's right, Puran Stores, yeah. And it was named after his father who would be standing at the front counter of the store handling the grocery business. Yeah, that's right. Which was also in the same store which he sold Playstations and games from. And he even had a cyber gaming room upstairs. That's right. It's all true. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, right. that, that's really true. How did you get interested in video games? One of my friends used to rent out game and watch. So by seeing him, I started. Ah, you yeah. got inspired by him? Yeah, inspired by him. And did you play was, yourself at the time? Yeah, yeah, I used to play a lot, a lot. Ah. I used to love to play. So I started this business along with my father's uh, grocery store. And your dad let you start a gaming yeah, shop yeah, out started, of his store? Yeah, yeah, he helped me a lot. So he, he, was, he yeah. was happy to see his yeah, son? Yeah, yeah, he was very much happy. Like my son is doing business on his own. Huh. And uh, there, was, there, there was too much of response in this gaming business. So my father used to do side by side the grocery Kirana store, and I used to do, do the gaming business. And they were they, they were too cooperative with me. They used to help me in wow. finance and all the ways. Like my really, father helped me a lot. Really, a family-run business. Yes, yes. Bro, so why are you here today? For getting a few game cassettes. And for which console? PS2. PS2, ke liye. Yeah, 2023, hey na? Right. Or PS2 me Yes. Cute. Old is gold. Ah, say it. Will to say it, boy. So this is his PS2 down here, and he's just getting some new games for his PS2. Amazing, right? Problem? Okay. What is your console? CD Acha. Oh, really? How yeah. old did you start coming uh, to Babu Shop? I was at like a seven. Seven. Yes. I started playing with the Game Boy. This is one of a kind shop. Mm. You won't find other shop like this in Pune or I can say in India. Yeah, I can agree with you, yeah. Yeah. And how did you feel coming here as a kid? What was that feeling? It was an amazing feeling. Every day after school when I used to come home, in my mind I was like, yes, I have to now go to play. I will go home, go to Bauhai, I will start playing there. Today I'm going to play this game and I have to complete this level. Was it the best part of your day? Yes, it was the best part. Especially the weekends. Because the whole day we were here. We start our day with games, games. And your store, it's still the same as it was in the 80s. Is there uh, a reason a, why uh, you never changed it? I need no time to change. Like, uh, uh, very, very busy with the gaming business. And in fact, like, throughout the week I'm working. So no time, just business, 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 business and family. But that's yeah. it. Nothing else. Like, I don't have time to change myself. Like, but it's because, good. Because it's good, like, people are coming to my store and I'm busy throughout the day. No weekly of working from morning 10, 30, 11 to night. 11, 30, 12, at stage, 1 o'clock also at many at times. So I don't get time to think the other things. Yeah. But business, 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 that's it. It's good in a way though, because everything's changing around us, but Babu's store is still the same. Same, same. It's a same. good feeling actually. Yeah, it's You don't same, have to change. It's same classic store, same, yes. same. And it feels good to come back to something you recognize and you know from your childhood. Yeah. How much stuff is left from our childhood? Yeah, Nothing. They, they, they feel very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's worked for you. Many a times, people they the tears come in their eyes when they <laughs> see my store. The same thing when they see me, they go back into their olden days. Yeah. 
they say like we have grown up to such a big stage like we have become such a big person families we are families kids and like we have made so much money and we are into so much big business or i am to such a big position still when they come to my store they see feel so happy see me and the my store and the tears come into their eyes they say like where where are my golden golden days we used to take for 1 rupee an hour from you and we used to struggle a lot to get the game and we used to sit outside your shop whether it's raining whether the sunlight is like too much of sun is there still they used to play on the foot part and play the games so you'd have like groups of boys i guess coming upstairs and just doing like land parties yeah 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 they used to come they used to sit till late in the night maybe 11:30 12 12:30 12, at the stretch 1:30 yeah i used to be there <laughs> i used to wait for all of them enjoy no worries approximately 15 tvs used to run people used to come and play the whole group used to come and play the most successful game was wwf here comes the pain oh, at yes. that time it was a super hit game you're the godfather of gaming that's maybe. what we can say that's what we can maybe, say maybe i don't know all right we're going to go and Check out the rest of Bubbles collection. We only saw like a third of it last time. We've got another big collection up here in his workshop and then another one at his old house over here. And wait till you see Bubbles old house. This is where he grew up and yeah, it takes you back in time. Bubba's workshop now. Let's see what we can find in here before we go across to his house. Oh my God, Bubba! Where did you find all this stuff now? Where did it's, you? It's my collection. Uh, I was renting out these stuff before earlier uh -huh. in 1980s somewhere. And on top of these cartridges, what does this mean? Uh, there are the names. Like I used to pile them like that, so I could read the names. Oh, I see. So that they'd be stacked on a shelf like yeah. this, yeah. And he could read the names and rent them out. Mm -hmm. This is Mr. Nuts. I never heard of that one before. And I've already seen one Indian game, which I can't wait to show you soon. You're not going to believe it. I've never seen it in the flesh, but I found it over at Bubbles Other House. Uh, this is an amazing thing. What does this do? Uh, this is like you can play a Game Boy cartridge on a Super Nintendo, SNES you can play. Oh my yeah, God. Fix a Game Boy cartridge. Oh my God. I used to have this. This is the Super Game Boy. You could yeah. plug Game Boy games yeah, into uh, your Super Nintendo. Oh man. It goes over here like that. Like we put Top Gun right in there and yeah, you can play it. This is a Sega Nomad. A Sega yeah? Sega Nomad. You can put a Sega cassette into it and you can play. Oh, a Sega Nomad. Yeah. Is, is it like a portable system? Yeah, it's a portable system. And so the cartridge will go in like this super WrestleMania. This is a Mega Drive cartridge and you can play it on this little screen, right? Yeah. Wow, just like that. And now you can see Ghost Recon Shadow Wars, 2,750 rupees, and this is back in the day, so, you know, that was worth a lot more in today's currency. Nintendo stuff has always been expensive here because they don't sell here, and all the Nintendo stuff has to be imported from Dubai or from another neighboring country. Babu, so how popular was PSP in uh, India? Because was, globally it, it didn't really hit. Yeah, right? it didn't really hit, but it was okay. It was doing good because due to the games one can download on the memory card, Ah, but you have so many games. You have, there's hundreds of PSP games here. Bubble has a massive collection. And I can see you've got about a hundred copies of Street Cricket Championship, one and two. Is that because cricket's just so yeah, popular yeah, in yeah, India? Yeah, it's very popular in India. I've got cricket, like, I used to sell cricket game like anything. So uh, many people used to buy cricket. Uh, cricket, cricket. Yeah, there's uh, again, so cricket, much cricket. cricket. Oh my gosh. Huh. Now this is one special cartridge we have here for the Game Boy, it's Top Gear Rocket and you could put a battery in it and you could save the game. There's a save slot in here somehow and the battery will keep the save there intact. You won't lose the save. Amazing. I'll get the keys, huh? Handy, handy. Namaste, Ji. Hi. Okay, so you're, you're looking after Babu's father? 
Yeah, I haven't for the last two years. Oh, for the last two years? Yes. That's very good of you. This is Babu's father. He yes. lives behind the store. Yes. And he's 90 years old. Incredible, right? And you can hear in the background, ram, 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 ram. Very nice to hear. So this is Babu's old house where he grew up as a young lad and played around and lived with his family. And it's, it's three stories going all the way up and each floor has some different games on it. <laughs> Come. Namaste ji. Assalamu alaikum. This is a very old house here in Pune. How old is this house? Oh, maybe 80 years. Yeah. And okay, I, I found something very special. Look at this. Rawan, or R-A-1, the game. This is a Shahrukh Khan game and maybe one of the very, very few games made in India about something Indian as well. And yeah, this is PS2. I've never actually seen this in person. And yeah, look at that. Still in great condition. Let's take a quick look back because the PS2 era was a boom time for Indian game development and I found them all here in Babu's collection. First up, Sri Hanuman the Boy Warrior. This was a 3D action game developed by a studio in Hyderabad. You play as Sri Hanuman in an epic quest to save the world. Then there was Desi Adda. You play as a son of an Indian living abroad who comes home to his ancestral village where he learns to play an array of village games. The Don 2 game is a third person shooter where you play as one of the most iconic Indians, Bollywood superstar Shahrukh Khan. And finally, we have the Ra 1 fighting game where again we play as King Khan. And there's even more too, these are just the ones that I found while filming. Isn't it cool to see Indian religion, culture, and film heroes brought to life in video games? And, oh, what is this? Babu, what's this? We Super Mario uh, Special Edition. Wow, look at that. It's not even open, still in the box. And this is, this came from Malaysia or Singapore. I guess back in the days you had to import a yes, lot of this yes, stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, we still have to import Nintendo stuff here in, in India. PS4, God of War Limited Edition, still in the box. Awesome. This is one of my favorite games of all time, basically. The whole whole God of War collection. Have you played God of War? Bobby? Yeah, I have, I have. It's a great game, right? Game. Yeah. And here we have, this is the PS2 in the box there. Oh my God, look, 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 we have the price here. MRP, 6,990 rupees imported by Sony itself. And this was imported November 2012. That price is incredible for a PS2 in India. Insane. You won't even get it for that price today. This is a Nintendo Wii U. This, this was one of Nintendo's failed products. It never, just never caught on, never worked. After this came the Switch. And we all know what happened to the Switch. It became one of the most highest selling consoles of all time, probably. Come, let's go upstairs, guys. The fridge is still here. Babu? Yeah. <laughs> These are the old wooden stairs. And here we are. There's just more treasures here. And I saw something here. Look at this. Dreamcast karaoke. I don't even know what this is. Some kind of karaoke set that you could plug into your Dreamcast console. And then we've got just a lot more Super Nintendo. This would have cost you a lot to collect yeah, back in yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You invested a lot of money. Yeah. Duck is... Hunt, Zelda, Batman, I can see. Bubba, I just found something very special up there. Yeah, what's that? The Hanuman PS2. Can you please show it to us? And why is it up in the top corner hidden? I've kept this Hanumanji PS2 so that he guides me. 
and I'm afraid like uh, I do something wrong. Hanumanji hits me from back saying, Babu, you're doing wrong. This is wrong. Don't do these things. So I'm always afraid like I shouldn't do anything wrong. It must but, hurt to get hit with that. What, what's it called? His uh, weapon? It's, it's, it's his weapon. Hanumanji's famous weapon, Gadha. Oh, Gadha. I don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> so I try my level best not to cheat my customers, be very honest to my customers. Fine. Honesty is the best policy room for me. That's my motto. Honesty is the best policy. Say yeah.